My name is George Clooney. I am the director of IU Health, and we have a business manager position open today that I'm trying to fill. So what I did is I sent a job description to the Higher Harrison account at Harrison College, working with the director of career services there, Tim, and he came up with five candidates for me that I need your guys' help. You guys got scorecards? Yeah. There? We're going to figure out which, which candidates is who we want to interview and which one we'll end up by the end of the day we'll select one to start. Ready? All right. So what I have over here is business manager for IU Health that I put in with there. We're looking for somebody that has, has uh, administrative background, uh, understands deadlines, able to analyze, is very methodical and, and process in there, is able to plan, lead, uh, uh, you know, basically these kind of things. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the first candidate that we received an email. We've got Emma Stone, CMA, AAMA. It looks like she's got a healthcare background. Uh, in with there. We've got professional experience. She works with Harrison College. She says she's a CMA. She's worked at Rock, healthcare background, education. She had a three, looks like down there. Can you raise it, Meryl, for me? You going up there? 3.91. It was like 4.0 when she was at Harrison College. Valedictorian. Wow, that's impressive. Community involvement. What do you guys think? What do you think about that resume? Okay, mark it on there if that's one that you like. Let's go to the next one. Next candidate, we've got Meg Ryan. Oh my, can you guys see that email? Sexy Mama 69 at gmail.com. That bothers me. There. I don't know about that. Let's look at the objective. To get a job as an administrative position in a stable industry, with growth, opportunities that will make me some money. That's not an objective. I want an objective saying it's going to be something they're going to do for my company. So that bothers me. Looks like she's got some skill set, though. Uh, my HR experience. Graduated a little bit ago, but that's okay. It looks like she has a lot of jobs in history. Okay. What do you guys think? No. no? Sexy mama did that do work for you guys? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go and see the next one, Meryl. Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> to obtain a position with IU Health as a business manager. What am I looking for? Business manager. Come on, guys, what are we looking for? Business Where does she work? Where is this person going to work? I IU. IU. Hey, how about that? They're customizing a little bit for me. That's pretty cool. Experience managing student financial aid. Proven track record, uh, man, being able to manage supplies, degree in human resources, project management experience. Look at that education valedictorian, 3.93 out of 4.0. Wow, this is good. Financial aid background. About the housing association, I do like to see my managers being involved in the community because they represent my company. So very cool. What do you guys think? Good, good. good one. Okay. Next one, Meryl. Catherine Zeta Jones. Um, certified address. Something's missing though. How you contact her? How are we gonna contact her? Well, I'm not using snail mail. <laughs> I gotta get somebody today. That's just not right. That's if you want if you want the attention, you want the job opportunity, you gotta get that in there. Okay, qualifications. Care patient care, not bad. Why are we looking at this one? I can't even get communication with her. Skip that one. What do you guys think? No. Okay. Is that all? Is there more? Is there more? Oh, yeah. Okay. You got Sandra Bullock. To obtain a role as business manager for IU Health. Again, someone's customizing it. I like that. That impresses me. Uh, we do have an email. That's good. We got that. We went there, and it's appropriate. Okay. We went there, Indiana Business College. Community Double Virginia, Ooh, she's been out of state, that's good. Harrison College, financial background, accounting assistance, Christian Bookstore, very cool. Payroll clerk, good to know. Okay. So the second page, she's got some information. More, more accounting clerk, accounts receivable, bookkeeping, computer skills, that's a plus. Wow, very involved. President, treasurer, treasurer, special projects. 
special committee. Wow. Another valedictorian. What's with all these smart people over here? That's pretty good. Okay. What do you guys think? Sandra Bullock? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. So which three should we pick out of those five? Emma, Michelle, and Sandra. Who? Hot Mama. Hot Mama. Hot Mama in there. Emma, Michelle, and Sandra. These are the three. Well, we have, I want three. So what about Emma? Yes. Should we check her out and see how yes. she interviews? Yeah. All right. Are we ready? Can you bring it in for me? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, I was wondering where she was. I know. I was like, I think like 10. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Um, okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Emma. <laughs> um, so we saw your resume. It was very impressive. You have some health care industry, but please uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I am the life of the party. <laughs> if there is something happening at work, I am there. I am like the dear Abby of the office. Everybody comes to me. I have all the scoop on everything. Right. Wow. Can you describe, describe the kind of work environment that you're the most effective in? Absolutely. The one where I am in charge. I like to run the show. What I say goes. And as long as everybody does that, work goes great. Right. <laughs> so, Emma. Tell me why I should hire you today over the other candidates. Duh. I mean, look at me. Why would you hire anybody else? Okay. All right. Now, I, those are the questions I've had for you. And you've answered them okay. Uh, do you have any questions for me today? I do. I love your tie. Where did you get it? You are so good at it. My boyfriend would love that tie. Uh, J.C. Penny. <laughs> <laughs> what time do I show up Monday? Um, well, we'll let you know how that process goes okay. over there. Is that good? That sounds okay. good. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> stress environments. I can handle a lot. I, I am so sorry. <laughs> child support. I have court coming up. I'm trying to get everything together. I have to go to my attorney after this. You know how that is. But I can manage. Okay. Right. So I think we answered that question. <laughs> can you describe to me the kind of work environment that you were the most effective in? 
drama, high stress. I can handle it, and I know how it is as a and as business manager. I have it all the time with my employees, and it's nothing but drama, which drama's in my life, so I'm good. Okay, check mark here. Uh, tell me why I should hire you today over the other candidates. Oh, well, I think I've proven that um, I can um, hire or I can handle things. I have um, a really good, I was valedictorian in my school. Um, child That's support. amazing. Y yeah. Um, I have certificates. I have a portfolio. I grabbed the wrong black thing. I'm sorry. Um, I would show you my, my track record of how well I do. Okay. But um, I'm very good for, for this position. Um, that was basically the questions I had for now. I like that. Do you have any questions for me? Um, I do. Um, do you have any problem with me taking off uh, the first couple days um, when I start uh, for court? Um, I have to do that. I have to go before the judge. And if I don't show up, then um, I'll be in contempt of court. And, um, and then I want to know about vacation. Um, and I want to know how soon that you're going to give me a raise. Mm, okay. uh, we'll discuss that at a later time if that's okay with you. And you're going to call me when? Uh, soon. <laughs> Great. Right, nice, are we, are we nice meeting you. Yes, Thank you. Done. I got to get to the courthouse. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Clancy. I approve. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks for your time. You're welcome. You need some help? Don't no. forget that. Oh, thanks. Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Sandra up here, is this the one? Sandra. She had a good resume, right? Sandra. Sandra. Well, hi, I'm George Clooney. Hello, Mr. Clooney. Nice to meet you. Could you please have a seat? Yes, thank you. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you. So, we've looked at your resume. It's been very impressive. We like the background that you have in accounting and all that. So, uh, go ahead and tell me a little bit more about yourself. And Okay. I'm currently employed at Harrison College as a financial aid analyst. Um, I've been with Harrison for eight years. I started out as an accounting assistant and have promoted through the years to a senior certified financial aid analyst. Excellent. So you've worked your way up. Very mm -hmm. cool. Very good. Okay. Describe the, what kind of work environment is most effective in I like working in a team-driven environment <laughs> where everyone works together to reach the goal, the end of, of something, you know, that everyone's working for. Just like at Harrison College, everyone works together to bring an education for the students and give them a good experience at Harrison. Well, very good. Um, tell me why I should hire you today over the other candidates that I've interviewed today. Well, I did some research on your company, and um, I really like your vision and a mission statement that really goes along with what I believe in. Um, I. I'm always meeting deadlines. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for me at this uh, time? Could I get a business card from you? Oh, absolutely. There you go. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? Um, yes. What is the learning curve for this position? Uh, well, business manager is a leader position. If you've got the, the accountability and the experience that you can bring to the table, you will have a team that you work with. So um, we'd probably say, you know, the first three months to six months, we want to help train and evaluate you and make sure that you're on track before you go, because we want to set you up for success. We want to put the right person in the right seat Absolutely. and go from there. So, great question. Great question. And uh, is there room for advancement? Absolutely. We have a reimbursement policy to where you can go in, continue your education, we will pay up to $5,000 per year towards continuing your education. And we'd like to see that. Lot, you know, we want, our goal is to become the premier institution at IU Health to where we have the top five people to stay long term. And what's the next step? In the next step, we'd like to have the position filled by, by May 1st, so we will have interviews with, with the next set of the team. We'd like the team be involved in the process, and we'll take it from there. And you'll be notified by, most likely, by Meryl Streep over here to help us out with that. All right, great. Uh, well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Great, thank you. Nice meeting you, Mr. Clooney. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the skin today.